what's this mean now going into Minnesota on Tuesday? Defensively, was was it an energy thing or just why didn't why didn't it click today? Well, they, I mean, they spread you out pretty well and they were making shots, so it's tough. It's tough to defend teams like that. Um, we did a better job in the second half, like I said, but um, they were making shots, and uh, you got to get a, give the credit to them for making um, for coming down the stretch and making shots. De- and coming down the stretch, it just seemed like whoever was going to make the stop was going to end up uh, coming out on top, and mm-hmm. it seemed like you know they, they were the team that made the stops. Why were you, or how difficult was it uh, coming down the stretch for you guys? To get a stop? Yeah, to, to um, get those stops. Um, um, obviously, it was a challenge. You know, uh, they kept scoring, so. But, I mean, I don't know. I can, I can go back and watch them and see the intangibles and ins and outs of why it happened, but you know, they just made the buckets. The play with the, after you guys called timeout with 32 seconds left, is that, are you supposed to penetrate there? Is that what? what nah, you we were trying to get it to White, and um, they kind of took that away, and I thought. I got like I said, I haven't, I can't, I remember the play, but I don't remember how everything played out. But um, I thought White was gonna have him sealed enough, where I could go around, and then he kind of swiped down, and then I thought Gabe was gonna get the, the loose ball, and they ended up getting it. So. Um, Roy, how important is uh, this down the stretch there where you would stretch any ends coming up, make up against IU at IU, of course, with some coming up. Uh, it's, it's important, you know, you can't string together losses. I think that's a key um, to this league is making sure you don't lose two, three, four in a row. Um, you want to be able to, to, to bounce back and, and get wins and, um, and not let it be an occurring effect.